Hi there. Did you know that Lake Tahoe has been losing clarity? Because we've been measuring water clarity in Lake Tahoe for a long time, we know for sure that it's been getting worse. And you see that white disc hanging from the wire? That's called a Secchi disc, and it's just one of the instruments we use to measure water clarity. Let's head out on the lake. I'll leave you with Captain Brandt to see what a limnologist does. Welcome aboard the UC Davis research vessel, John LeCant. Here on the lake, I'm going to be doing a Secchi disc reading. And the way we do this is to lower the disc slowly into the lake. And I measure the line, how much line has gone out off this meter wheel, so I know how deep it's gone. So I'm going to start setting this down into the lake. So as the disc goes down into the lake, it gets more and more difficult to see. The reason for this is that there's fine particles and algae floating around in the water column, and as the disc gets deeper, these particles scatter the light and make it harder to see the disc. There's a small white glow where I can still see the disc. So we keep an eye on it until it gets down to where it's just about to disappear, and then I've got to be real careful about stopping the line at the right place. And right there, it just went out of view, so that is going to be our Secchi reading today. If I look at the meter wheel, I'm at 18 meters. And that's a good reading for today. That's 59 feet. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back up, and we'll move on to some other tests. This is another commonly used piece of equipment here at Lake Tahoe. It's called a Van Dorn sampler. We use this to collect water from a specific depth in the lake. We lower the bottle down to the depth that we need to sample, and once it's reached that depth, we send this weight down the line to close the bottle. As soon as the bottle closes, we've captured water that we need for analysis. This sample came from 1,500 feet deep in the lake. I'm going to send it back to the laboratory so they can analyze it for nutrients, fine sediment, and algae. You see that research buoy over there? There's six of those on the lake. Each one is loaded with scientific equipment. That one is used by NASA and UC Davis scientists to check satellite data and to study water currents in Lake Tahoe. It's right around noon. That means the Terra satellite ought to be passing by pretty soon. This is my favorite part of the sampling day. I'm bringing in the plankton net. And in here we have the tiny creatures that eat the algae. Those creatures are called zooplankton. If you look at the end of the net, you'll be able to see zooplankton jumping around. These guys are the tiny food for the fish that live in the lake. Thanks, Captain Brandt. Check out the equipment used on the boat. By taking all those measurements every 10 days, we can see how the lake is changing over time. Now this graph shows how the Secchi depth has changed since 1968, when Dr. Charles Goldman began regularly taking these measurements. Each of the white circles represents the average Secchi depth for that year. Back in the 1960s, the number was about 100, meaning we could see down into the lake 100 feet. Now we can only see down about 70 feet, and that's a loss of about 30 feet of clarity. Look up to the skylight above you. The distance from where you are to the top of the skylight is about 30 feet. Now you know why we're worried. Check out some of the other information around you, or ask one of the docents to tell you what else is being done.